Well, hello, everybody. This is Robbie with Purposeful Homeschool. And first of all, I want to apologize profusely for having taking so long to record um, a new video. This school year has just been kind of crazy. I've got one that's graduating this year. So we've been doing a lot of uh, college prep and applications and testing and just all kinds of stuff and then of course I'm schooling two others as well so it's just been a little um, crazy uh, I also run a class a biology class for my middle child who is in ninth grade this year so yeah I just have had a lot going on so I apologize but uh, it's spring break here and there's some videos I want to record while we're finishing up spring break and hopefully they will uh, um, it be enjoyable So, okay, um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is Times Tales, and I just lost my place here on this video, so I'm going to try to fix that now. Um, there we go. All right, so I don't know if you're familiar with this program called Times Tales, but it is a tool to help students learn their multiplication and division facts, math facts. And my son, who is in second grade this year, is starting to learn these because I want him to have these already memorized by third grade when he starts needing to use them so we don't have to stop and take time to, to do all of that. And we can just go straight into multiplication and division. So. The reason I decided to try this program was because when we were doing Matthew C, which if you've seen my videos, um, you've probably figured out that we're not going to be using Matthew C this year because they rely so heavily on the need to memorize the math facts, and we were really struggling with that in with addition and subtraction math facts. So I didn't want to just hold him back because of that, because he understood the concepts and there are tools to do addition and subtraction math facts you can use manipulatives you can use your fingers you can use mental math tricks you know that sort of thing so I really just didn't want to hold him back because of that and so I decided to go with a different math program this year I decided to try Schiller math which is a Montessori based program and it is um, definitely not one that requires you to memorize math facts. In fact, their philosophy on that is that kids will automatically learn their math facts as they use them over the course of time. And this is actually exactly what has happened with my son. The more we do math, the more facts he just knows. And he doesn't have to rely on the, the mental math tricks or the manipulatives or counting on his fingers or whatever to, to recall those. So I will do a separate video on our Schiller math and I want to show all of the different tools that it comes with and how we use the program. But in this particular video I wanted to talk about Times Tales because we have just thoroughly enjoyed this. It is just a wonderful program and I know that there's lots of tricks for doing the addition and subtraction facts, but not so much with regard to the um, the uh, multiplication facts. I mean, you just have to know those. So I didn't really want to start with the drill and kill thing with these because I just knew it didn't work before and I didn't want to do it again. So the concept behind this program is that the each one of the numbers is a character so for instance the number six is a little boy it looks like a little boy who represents the sixth grade class and his head is in the shape of a six um, the four is in a chair in the shape of a chair the seven is in the shape of um, a woman named mrs. week because a week has seven days and a nine is a tree house and the number nine is incorporated into the drawing of the tree house. Um, the eight is a snowman. So they then build a story around these characters and 
in the process of building the story, the answer to the multiplication fact that they're referring to is built into the story. And it's actually purely uh, pure genius. And it, we've really um, enjoyed this. As a matter of fact, we've only been through part one so far. And he learned his math facts so fast with part one that I just couldn't wait to share this with you guys because it has been so effective. Literally one day he learned all of the math facts for three, four, six, seven, and nine. So then of course we'll do the part two, which will be um, seven, you know, the upper, the upper times tales. <laughs> the upper times, times skills, whatever. Oh my gosh. So anyway, forgive me. Um, the easy ones they don't go through, like they don't go through ones, they don't go through twos, and they don't go through fives because those are pretty easy for kids to remember. But the ones that are a little more difficult, yes, they'll cover the rest of those. So I wanted to play a little clip for you because this is actually a channel, um, the Times Tales channel, Learning Tales, Times Tales. And they have 15 minutes of their program on here. So you can go to this channel and I'll link it below and you can actually try the program for free on YouTube for the nine times six, nine times seven, nine times eight, and nine times nine, and see if it works for you. And so just to illustrate what it is about and what it does, I wanted to play a little clip here so that you can, you know, see how it works. And um, then at the end, I've got a clip of my son actually uh, working on one of the worksheets to recall his facts. And you can see how that you know, that mental process works as they're going through these stories to do that. Um, I will say this, that um, he's not at the point where it, we have instant recall on the math facts, but I don't care because he's not struggling to remember the answers. When he does remember them, they're correct. And the more we do them, the faster he gets with it and the less he relies on the stories. So, for instance, even now, for most of the facts, he might have to kind of go through the story, but the answer just pops up in his head and he just gets it. So I'm already seeing, you know, that he's relying less and less on the stories to, to get these math facts, um, you know, memorized. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and play this. I've got to unmute this because my screen capture automatically mutes this. And we'll play it. There were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples, and the second grew only one apple. Have you ever seen a tree house in an apple tree before? I wonder what caused one tree to grow eight apples while the other tree grew only one. Don't forget, there were two tree houses. The first tree house grew eight apples and the second grew only one apple. Okay, so you probably saw how obvious that one was. So the tree house is the number nine. There's two of those, so nine times nine. And then one tree house grew eight apples, the other one grew one, so 81. Now, the key to this is to have the student make sure he memorizes or she memorizes the order of this, the events in the story. Because if they were to recall the story and say, you know, there were two tree houses and one grew one apple and one grew eight apples, then they would then think that the answer was 18 instead of 81. So other than that, I mean, really so, so, so easy to do. And um, I have been thrilled with the results and we've had fun learning the uh, multiplication facts. And then once they get the multiplication facts down, because they know the stories, they can easily figure out the division part of it. So nine times nine is 81. Well, 81 divided by nine is what? What is missing from the story? 
well, one of the apple, I mean, one of the trees is missing. Oh, well, the tree houses is missing. Okay, the answer is nine. You see, so once you get done with the memorization of the multiplication portion of it, you can then turn around and, and use the same stories to work on the division ones. So I am just thrilled with this, and I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, we got ours off of EduSense, which is um, a homeschool resource, and they had a download version as well when I bought this that was on sale, but I noticed that the DVD version here is only $17.95, so that's a really good price. I think um, the division, let's see, sorry, the download one, is this the download one? No, this is a workbook, which you don't need because you get a PDF of different worksheets that you can use and print out and I've actually laminated all of those so that we can just you know reuse those and then there's some flashcards that you can cut out so I laminated those so that, and cut those out and then there's if you see the little blocks here these are uh, you know, you print them on cardstock and then cut them out and paste them together and then you've got dice and it's a fun way to go through the the different math facts as well. So I really cannot, um, cannot recommend this highly enough. So give me just a second and I will uh, pull up the video of my son using this program and working on a worksheet so you can see how, how that goes. This is Mrs. Meeks and he went back to 121. Yeah. I remember the stores. Hmm. This is uh Tim. This is Mrs. Snowman's picker. Three bedrooms with two mittens. Sorry, two. Yeah. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Mrs. Snowman. This is a butterfly. He melted. Yep. Two butterflies and took her arms and and four butterflies took her eight legs. Okay. Twenty-four. Yep. Good job. Okay, so you've been able to get a glimpse of not only the program itself, but also um, a student, you know, using it in action. And so I hope that this was helpful for you if you've been looking for a solution to memorizing math facts or wanting to make it more fun or just wanting to help a struggling uh, student who is having trouble memorizing these facts, then I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, like I said, I can't recommend it highly enough. I'm thrilled with it. So um, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today and um, be looking for more from me because I have quite a few that I plan on doing here in the next few days before school starts up again next week. So thanks again and have a great day.